Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video on my channel, Meg's Movies. If you are new to this channel, it's basically where I talk to you guys about my passion for movies. This goes from collections, hauls, reviews, and today's video, so let's get into it. Okay, and we're back with the subscriber mail review series. Yes, <laughs> um, it's been a while since I've done one of these, and I figured since I'm in a ghostly mood, figured why not start watching the Power Activity set that I got sent um, in subscriber mail. Um, I'll put the link in the description down below for that video, so go check that out. But yes, so I was sent uh, Planet Activity, Planet Activity 4 and Planet Activity The Marked Ones because I have all the rest. <laughs> um, so yes, so I did re-watch this the other day, this is the first time I've watched this in some time. Um, but this is one of the subscriber mails that I have seen, so sometimes I get films I haven't seen, sometimes I get films I have. This is one I have. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so if you haven't been with this series before, hello. Um, basically, I just give you my thoughts on the film I've just watched and sort of like tell you if I enjoyed it, if I didn't enjoy it, stuff like that. So it's kind of like a normal movie review. It's just I'm reviewing the movies that I've been sent in the post. So just to give a quick plot summary, basically Mika and Katie start to document um, this ghostly things that happen around um, Mika's house and it's all to do with Katie because this thing's been following her since she's a child and of course once they start um, using cameras around the house and stuff like that that's when it invokes the ghost a lot more and also with each night that progresses each thing that happens gets worse and worse and worse. Um, so this is one of those found footage films um, inspired by Blair Witch Project. Um, I know that Blair Witch Project did start the craze, then it started to die down, and then it's thanks to this and how popular it got that it then came back. And I must admit, found footage films when it's about ghosts creep me the hell out. It worries me about me and my bedroom and stuff like that. I'm always worried that I'm going to see something. Um, but no, this is a really good film. This is one I would recommend anybody to watch. Um, I will be doing a ranking of the other films so you can see my opinions on them. Um, but this is definitely one, if you don't want to watch the rest, definitely recommend just watching this one. Um, yeah, the, it's really good how they did it, how they built it up. Um, it didn't feel slow like some of the other films do um, when it comes to building the tension. This one actually progressed, progressed, progressed slowly but in the perfect timing. Um, I like say like I did. I like the idea of found footage films. They're creepy. They're it's like a home foot. It's a home video basically, and it's a creepy idea that you could catch things like this if you were to put a camera somewhere in your room overnight. Um, Mika and Katie, I really enjoyed them. Um, I like how Mika was more calm when things got worse, but then Katie got more stressed. But it weren't until stuff physically happened to her that Mika then suddenly got very much like got to protect her, got to do this, got to do that. So he didn't take her serious at first, but then obviously as each evening progresses, he then changes his mind. Um, my only downfall for this film is that it's got three alternate endings, which I didn't know there was three. I know there was two, but there's three. Um, I'm glad they went with the one that they did, but the idea that there was three alternate endings to a found footage film I feel like there shouldn't be any alternate endings, it should just leave it as is because uh, then it just makes it more creepy. Um, but yeah, I like the, there's two there's two endings that we know of and then there's the festival ending which I didn't know existed. I'm glad they didn't go with the festival one, I'm glad they went with the ending we've got here. Um, but yeah, this is actually a really good movie, this is one I'd recommend for any horror fan, um, anyone that likes found footage or ghost films stuff like that that is one i recommend uh if i was to give it a score probably probably give it like a seven out of ten you know it's not like one of my absolute favorite movies of all time but it is one that i do truly enjoy um it is one like i said i would recommend 
I don't know about the other films. Maybe once I give them a rewatch for my ranking, I'll give you guys my thoughts on which ones you should watch. But yeah, so that is my subscriber mail review for Paranormal Activity. Uh, next Tuesday, it will be Paranormal Activity 4. <laughs> And yes, so I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to this channel and you want to check out more of my subscriber mail reviews, then hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell in the corner down below. And also leave me comments down below your thoughts on the Pan Activity, both the first film and the whole franchise. Please let me know because I love your guys' opinions and I promise I do see all your comments, I just don't get time to respond. But no, just let me know your thoughts on these films. Do you enjoy found footage films? Do you think they're a bit derivative? Like, do you think they just repeat themselves? Let me know in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!